Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma. Hi there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast for New England. Well, if you're looking for something to do this weekend, why not check out the 7th Annual Connecticut Surf Casters Association's Demo Day and Extravaganza. The event is once again being held at the Clinton, Connecticut Town Hall. Now, doors open to the public at 9 a.m., and there's a requested $5 donation for entry to the show. They'll have an extensive list of commercial vendors on hand to show off their products, as well as used tackle for sale by club members. They're also having a bunch of free seminars and ongoing demos from club members throughout the day. They got a ton of great food, it's an awesome event, so if you're looking for something to do, if you're in the area, be sure to stop on by. I hope to see you there. All right, let's see, moving on into the uh, reports on the freshwater f uh, side of things. It's really the biggest game in town right now with anglers hitting both ice where fishable ice remains or open water where last week's mini melt freed up a few spots. Now regardless of how you're getting a line in the water, the target species pretty much remain the same as last week with excellent success on perch, pike, panfish, bass, trout, and walleye. All these species hit this week's reports across every corner of New England, so be sure to check it out if you plan to fish. I even hit the ice a couple of times since last week's video, and I found excellent action on both perch as well as walleye. You know, this is turning out to be quite the ice fishing season here in southern New England, finally. So be sure to take advantage of the great fishing uh, before it cools off or really warms up and we lose all that fishable ice. Story also remains pretty similar to last week's report as far as cod with the weather once again the major limiting factor. There were only a couple of sailing windows and a couple of boats made it out here and there and really unfortunately they found mixed to poor results at best. Overall they did say that they saw a good amount of bait out on the cod grounds but for reasons only known to the fish the cod were just simply rather reluctant to bite. Uh, most of the catch was made up of a few cod. Good catch is a ling but that's about it. And uh, let's see, last up, as I noted last week, it's just about the official kickoff for the 2018 fishing, hunting, boating, and outdoor show season here in New England. Now, the first official show uh, here in New England for us at the Fisherman opens up next week in the 26th when we'll be at the New England Fishing and Outdoor Expo in Boxborough, Mass. Uh, happy to be back. It was a great show last year. Really happy to be a part of it once again. Uh, if you'd like a full look at where and when you can come see us here at the uh, Fisherman Magazine in New England this winter. Check out the 2018 show schedule posted in the news section of thefisherman.com where you can click on the uh, YouTube card in the upper corner of your screen right now and always you can check out the full events calendar to see everything that's going on all across the region. All right, well there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine wishing you tight lines if you head out onto the water this weekend. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma.